Well, we're joined uh, this morning uh, by uh, Keith Van der uh, Professor at the University of Nottingham. Thank you for joining us. Um, could you perhaps give us an overview of uh, your work, especially within uh, the SHOCK project? In the SHOCK project, I've been mainly uh, active in the work package on data communities. And mm -hmm. um, uh, it, it's a kind of, call it a confederative uh, work package in which different research communities each have their role, uh, they each encounter different challenges uh, in, their, in their scientific work, and they work with other work packages and on themselves in order to uh, address those challenges, and in that way make progress. Uh, and and the, the special thing about that is, I think, uh, that uh, the, the solutions that they work on that, and that they develop uh, have a wider potential applicability than only their own research groups. Mm -hmm. So talking about this, the specific area of uh, cross-disciplinarity, how has shock enabled cross-disciplinary use of tools, would you say? Well, first of all, by developing tools mm -hmm. uh, and by demonstrating that they can be used in different contexts. And that demonstration is basically by way of the context that within the shock consortium are uh, existing between people from different disciplinary or different topical backgrounds. Uh, so we meet in shock people who we otherwise wouldn't have met uh, and we can demonstrate what we have done uh, and the other way around. Uh, so for instance, uh, uh, in the uh, uh, immigration and migrant uh, uh, network of research, the data community, they have developed uh, a survey data registry. Well, not only have they developed it, they've demonstrated that to people in all kinds of different disciplinary and topical areas who now have a working example of what they could do themselves together with a workflow, with consideration how to do it. So, in basically a roadmap of how to implement it within their own subdisciplines. Um, same holds for the development of a knowledge group in electoral studies, which now is not only relevant and possible in electoral studies, but in religion studies or and, and so on. So the very fact that shock brought together people from a wide variety of disciplinary backgrounds helps in this respect to make this uh, interoperability across disciplinary lines possible. Thank you very much. And thank you also for the for the examples which I think are going to possibly help our researchers understand some of the tools. What tip, what advice would you give researchers, including outside of the shock community, on how to best benefit from these tools? Ha, that's a good one. Uh, because people outside the shock community have the first uh, hurdle to overcome, namely how to, how to know that there's something to know. Uh, and that is, uh, to some extent, our our responsibility of everyone in shock to be a preacher, to be a proselytizer, to spread the word, and to alert our colleagues who are not in shock uh, about opportunities that are there. And if we can give them a good working example, see, that you can do. That's been developed, and you can apply that as well. That would be, I think, the way forward. So it's to a to large extent a matter of spreading by way of word of mouth. But not only at an individual level, because we have our own conferences and our own yeah. meetings outside shock from sociologists or economists or religion yeah. studies or politics or whatever. Yeah. And there this story can and should be told as well. Thank you very much. Case on the Thank you for your time.